Okay, hello guys, welcome to my new changing impact video. Guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about the build, the weapon, the artifact, everything related to the Tartaglia. So stay tuned till the end, guys. Okay, so I'm not gonna talk about the gameplay because if you're watching this video, you already know about know the gameplay of the Tartaglia. Straight up to the artifact, straight up to the weapon, straight up to the build. So Tartaglia, first of all, Tartaglia is fully based on the attack percentage. The higher you have attack uh, percentage or attack on uh, your Tartaglia, the higher he's going to deal the damage on the field. So first, most three things, most important thing that you have to have on your uh, Tartaglia to deal massive amount of damage. First is attack, second is crit rate and third is crit damage. These three things are very important. Energy recharge, defense, elemental mastery. These three doesn't matter. And H percentage also doesn't matter that much. But attack, crit rate, and crit damage matters the max. In his kit, the Tartaglia crits very less. So you need to have minimum of 70% crit rate here. Uh, on average of 80% crit rate is ideal. If you give your Tartaglia 80% damage here, it's going to be very, very good. But minimum of 70% 70, 70 crit rate is needed on your Tartaglia. Minimum of 170% crit damage is needed on your Tartaglia my opinion to go for the 220 or 230 crit damage but if you're having 200 around 200 crit damage it's gonna be fine let's talk about the weapon guys many will say many will say the best four shot weapon is gonna be the rush but as i said tartaglia is very much dependable on the crit ratio uh, if you don't have a very good crit ratio on your tartaglia then it's gonna be very difficult to deal a massive amount of damage because he crits very less that's why i'm using here a crit rate weapon his uh, signature weapon that's a polar char also have the crit rate because he crits very less so you need to give him a crit rate weapon and also in uh, artifact you need to give him a crit less circle lead in order to get a 79 or 80 percent crit rate here so what are the actual options here for the weapon the top two options are the polar stars Polar Star is the signature weapon of Child and second is Skyward Hub. They both have crit rate, they both have high amount of crit uh, attack and they one of uh, Skyward Hub also provide you with some amount of crit damage in the refinement ability. The third option will gonna be the Thundering Pulse. If you have the Thundering Pulse, it's having a crit damage, no problem, but it's gonna work on, your, on the Child because it matches with the kit of the Child. In the four star weapon guys the bp weapons are actually good they both contain uh, Where I'm from. they both contain crit rate so this weapon this is a new weapon and the older weapon they both are very good if you planning to give a child a bp weapon you can go for it uh, i'll suggest if you had if you are planning to give the weapon but if you don't have either of these weapons just go for this weapon this uh, scion of the blazing sun uh scion of the blazing sun having less crit rate but this having a more crit rate you just have like, these both are very similar weapons nothing so special the only reason i'm suggesting these weapon because they are having crit rate and crit rate is literally very important in the case of child uh, if you want to have some uh, other weapons like many will suggest you to go for the rust I will suggest you go for the rust then you have to be very very hard working in the artifact department you need to manage to have a 70 above 70 percent crit rate above 170 180 percent crit damage without the help of the weapon and that's gonna be very very difficult that's why i never suggest a four star weapon for child but yes rust r5 is very good if you manage to get have a very good crit ratio on child Talking about the artifact sets here guys in this game there's a three artifact set that matches with the kit of the child first and the most amazing artifact is going to be the name stream i have given the name stream to the child it's bring out brings the massive amount of damage uh, when child performs on the field four piece it's just the best artifact what you have to do just give him attack percentage in sands hydro damage bonus in goblet and crit rate circlet in crit rate in circlet don't go for the two piece two piece a proper four piece is needed in the case of child so just go for the proper four piece if you don't want to grind for the name stream and you already have artifacts of hod heart of depth you can go for that also you can give uh, tartaglia the hod the heart of that artifact and there's a one more artifact that matches with the kit of the child uh, 
that's uh, this artifact is the echoes of an offering when the normal attack hits opponent there's a 30 percent chance that it will drop and it will normal attack damage but it will increase the normal attack damage by 70 percent this is not the best artifact but yeah it matches with the kit of the tartaglia that's why i'm suggesting this but my personal suggestion suggestion is the only one artifact it's going to be the name stream it's going to be the massive uh, artifact it's going to be very good artifact so we just go for this artifact guys the, now talk about the constellation if you want to go for the constellation the c1 constellation is actually very very good and worth it's actually very good it just decreases your elemental scale cd by 20 percent and actually make a difference when you on the field you can feel the difference if you want to go for the more constellation you can go up to the c3 constellation c3 constellation is very very good so you can go for the even c2 constellation is also good so you can go up to c3 constellation if you want but the c6 constellation is amazing there's no cd of the elemental cell so you can whenever the shut it, uh, turn it on and shut it down whenever you want it so c6 constellation is the most amazing constellation but talking about the talent just forget about the normal attacks he's very bad in the normal attacks so there is new you use case of the normal attacks so just avoid normal attacks never never upgrade your normal attacks not even one level just focus on your elemental skill and elemental burst first upgrade your elemental skill to the max then upgrade your elemental burst to max crown crown both of them now talking about the how good is child in terms of being a dps on the field he's very good guys as you can see my child talent saliver are are not max the elemental skill is on level 9 and the elemental burst is still on level 7 the ratio i am having on my child is not even the uh, even the suggested ratio as i already told you to having a 200 crit damage is much on child but i am already uh, only having 176 percent crit damage here the crit is fine the attack uh, after the artifact four piece triggers the attack goes up to 22 22 2200 to 2300 so attack is not gonna be a problem here but still my child is not maxed out it's still in the progress i'm still grinding for the child still guys i managed to complete this parallel abyss the latest parallel abyss as you can see on the screen i'm not lying i managed to complete this parallel abyss I managed to complete full spiral abyss of three three stars i am showing you the uh, gameplay here so guys in terms of the damage in terms of the being reliable reliable dps on the field child is super super strong you just need to find the perfect team for the child like there's a uh, two teams mainly two teams in the game one is the vaporized team second is the uh, bloom hyper bloom team in the game that you can use with your child and child is gonna deal a massive amount of damage keep that in mind for the vaporize and the a blue hyper bloom team you don't need to give child a massive amount of elemental mastery don't fall for that thing like i have this team the hyper bloom or bloom team whatever you call it using with the dendro and electro my child's having literally 40 50 elemental mastery that's it the maximum elemental mastery he is getting he's getting from the dendro residence from the dendro residence he's getting 100 elemental mastery and with ali uh, with nahida's elemental burst he's getting more than 200 elemental mastery so around around he's having 400 elemental mastery on him without giving any elemental mastery related, related artifact or weapon so don't fall for that though those uh, videos or those uh, build in which you have to give your child elemental mastery in order to give high vaporize or any elemental reaction damage well guys thank you for watching the video that's it that's my call on the child that's my build i'm using this build and i'm definitely gonna improve the crit ratio for now this is all for the video it's very simple build but it's a very hard working build because child is very uh, artifact dependable and crit ratio dependable and also weapon dependable it's clearly not a free to be uh, free to f2p player f2 friendly player no it's, he's not f2 friendly player so uh, if you are a f2p just avoid getting child if you're not f2p just get him and enjoy so thank you guys for watching this video if you still have any question you can ask me in the comment like this video share this video with a friend and guys come on subscribe to my channel for more gen related videos in the future we'll meet in the next video till then bye bye take care